Here's what the island looks like. There's a long sandy peninsula. The only possible landing place is through that reef. The rest of the shoreline is sheer precipice, hundreds of feet high. And across the base of that peninsula, cutting it off from the rest of the island, is a wall. A wall built so long ago, the people that lived there have slipped back, forgotten the high civilization that built it. But it's as strong today as it was centuries ago. The natives keep that wall in repair. Well, why? There's something on the other side. Something they feed. A hostile tribe. No. Have you ever heard of Kong? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> You've caught me warming up my instrument. <laughs> it's been an interesting time rehearsing for King Kong. I, I've insisted on going method this time. Uh, everybody on set must at all times treat me as if I am a 60-foot ape. Now, the fact that I am a 60-foot ape does not enter into it. We must maintain the veneer of fiction at all times. And so, when in this room, I am Kong, the mighty, and not in the interest of inflating my ego, mind you, but in the interest of fully inhabiting this role. Uh, Kong is not somebody who's used to saying, hello, hey, around the water cooler. You know, did you see that episode of favorite sitcom last night? No, Kong is the one who enters the room and everybody says, oh, look, it's Kong, we'd better sacrifice a maiden to him, then set up pyres, uh, sending gouts of flame and smoke into the sky. And so when I insist that people on the set build pyres and uh, sacrifice, you know, uh, uh, PAs, uh, I expect to be taken seriously as the performer that I am. Try to scream and try. If you didn't see, perhaps you could scream. Throw your arms across your eyes and scream, man! Scream for your life! Mm, my relationship with Anne, well, the pressures of being a star are numerous and weighty, and my shoulders are large, but having that much weight on them, it gets to an ape after a while, you know? and. So my mind and my heart and my body are in the production all the time. And I come home, I don't necessarily have the same focus and energy and, uh, well, sense of romance that I might have had before. And it's not because I love Anne any less. Let's get that straightened out. No, it's because, well, Kong behaves differently. What did she say to you? <sighs> no, 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 it's not the alcohol. I, I'm 60 feet tall, I can hold my drink. No, I'm not gay, I just am very busy. I lead a very stressful life. So let's put these rumors to bed, shall we? I'm at my mark. I'm at my mark, so Oh, that's great. You don't want to touch me now? <laughs> it's fine. Like, I want a dirty ape touching me anyway. Brian! Brian! Uh, yeah, what is it? This is outrageous. I can't work with him anymore. I can't do this anymore. I just don't understand. It's been 90 years. 90 years. Is it me? He doesn't want to touch me. He doesn't want me anymore. No! Get a hold of yourself, Anne. You're a star. He's an amateur. I'll show him. People don't come to this show for him, no.
They come for me. Uh, so I have established a new rider for uh, theaters. Uh, you know, they must provide, obviously, the, the expected, the, the leafy greens, the bananas. Uh, I have gone the traditional route, asked for the bowl of M&Ms with no brown M&Ms only, of course. It has to be a great deal more M&Ms. Uh, 12 metric tons of M&Ms with all of the brown ones removed in every dressing room we go to. Uh, so far, people have been uh, remarkably accommodating. All right, so the first move is the big roar. The big okay. roar, one, two, three, roar! Yeah. Uh, express yourself more. Big, big oh. roar, big gesture, okay, big yeah, yeah. feelings. One, two, three, roar! There it is, very good. Thank then you. the circle. We circle each other. We're ready, we're sizing each other up. No, you look, you look like you want to poke me. You look like you're ready to do some, some hard poking. No, this is ferocious. Come this on, is man. bestial energy. Rawr. You roar? see, that's what you're giving me. Okay, okay, so I roar at you? No, I'm... I was mocking you. Oh. I was mocking you by imitating you. Yeah, I could break your jaw right now. Do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you really inviting me? Are you really inviting me right now? <laughs> because we've had three T-Rexes already. Oh, really? Oh, okay. yes. Why? They've all quit? I wonder why. No, because... The thing I just said. Okay. The murder. Sure. I'm a giant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, man. <laughs> I feel like there's nowhere we can go here except for me actually murdering you. Uh, is your your SAG premiums paid up? You're insured. You uh. Help? Yeah. All okay. right. Here we go. Did did we get that? What people don't understand about Kong's death scene, and especially the way I perform Kong's death scene, is that every night I go through the process, and it's an extensive process, an exhaustive process, of stepping through my way into the afterlife, and the, the mere effort of dragging myself back into the world you see before you, well, it might not seem like a big deal, but when I am there on the floor and I hear those words, "'Twas beauty killed the beast," I don't know why everybody's looking at the little humans. I have just died on stage. I have just fallen from the Empire State Building, and we're paying attention to these little humans with their trite phrases. Yeah. It burns me up, and that's why I've done a quick rewrite of the script on my own. It's a, a one-ape show titled Kong. Uh, well, I might have to workshop the title. We might run into some issues there. But, you know, we can omit all the small talk, so to speak, and just go right to the meat of the action, what the people want to see. Uh, Kong. All right. This is looking okay. No, it's not looking okay. Is that attitude from Kong... You know, you know, this contract's up next year. Makes me think. There is this giant lizard in Japan. Maybe, maybe it's time for a change. Yeah. I never liked them. 